Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Imagine this very real scenario for a second. You're a little kid again, playing with your toys. One toy is a super powerful neodymium magnet, and the other toy is a hard drive with top secret, very important files on it. And you're about to bring these two toys together so that they touch. But before that happens, your parents stop you and tell you that if you do that, the important files on the hard drive will disappear. So I'm here today to test this for real. What if I bring a powerful magnet near a hard drive? Will it wipe the drive? Will it break it? Or will it do nothing at all? So let's find out. So you can see here, this is the hard drive. It's a top secret file here. Um, I'll blur it out now, but it's got some very important instructions on there um, that we need to follow. But um, what I'm gonna do before I reveal it, I'm gonna try to see if I can wipe it first, and then uh, we'll see if the instructions are still there. Um, if they have been wiped, I can reveal them at the end anyway because I'm recording this screen now. But um, yeah, let's, um, let's actually try to wipe it now. Okay, so let's try this out. Um, I know that this hard drive actually contains smaller magnets inside. So I'm actually more concerned that the powerful magnet's gonna end up just breaking something inside rather than wiping the data. So let's just move it out of the way for a sec because I've got here a uh, smaller magnet and you can see it's actually, what's it attracted to? Probably some kind of screw or nail in the desk. <laughs> but yeah, I've got this smaller magnet here which isn't quite as strong so perhaps it won't break something. Um, and then I can see if that has wiped the data. And then it's moving that out of the way, this big one here uh, much bigger, much stronger, quite scary. This is probably bound to break something. Yeah, I'll be curious to see what happens if I even need to use this one at all. But let's just do the little one first. Okay, so there's actually multiple layers of the discs here. And so I'm not actually sure where the information is stored on this hard drive, but let's just try it. Oh. <laughs> okay. So obviously the metal part, the, the middle part is metal. Let's try not to actually physically break it though. Oh, this is really tough. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you, using my uh, magnetic viewing film here, I can see where the magnets are in this. So it looks like there's two bigger ones, maybe a third smaller one there and then two other smaller ones. That seems to be hopefully sufficient enough. Let's get this cover back on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Magnets, man. Gotta be so careful. Okay, so I'm recording again on the computer. Let's plug this in and see if I've wrecked it. <laughs> The disc is spinning. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> so I don't know if you could hear that ticking sound inside. I'm not 100% sure what that means. Um, it's kind of similar to when I take the cover off and plug it in. Um, the head sort of comes in and out and that's it. The computer won't read it unless this is back on. But since I brought the magnet near it, it appears like it's totally ruined it. I'm unsure if it's wiped the data because I can't actually access it on my computer at the moment. So the clicking sound in the hard drive has been known as the click of death. It appears that I've had a physical failure of my hard drive. And unless I send it off to some data recovery place, I can't tell if the magnet wiped the data or not, unfortunately. But either way, it's not a good idea to bring a magnet close to a hard drive because it will most likely break. So let me explain briefly how hard drives store information. You may have noticed that hard drives have metal discs in them. And these discs are broken up into billions of small sections that can be magnetized separately. And so when writing data onto this disc, each section is magnetized with either a north or south pole. And if this were in binary, north would be one and south would be zero. 
And as we know, computers process all information in binary. And so when we want to read the information on a hard drive, the magnetic coil head simply looks at each of the billions of sections on the disk. And if it's north, that's a one. And if it's south, that's a zero. And it gets a string of binary and converts it into something that we can see or hear on our computers. And so the reason why it's not good to bring a magnet near these hard drives is because the powerful magnetic field can disrupt the north and south sections on the disk, corrupting that data. And so thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I definitely learned that it's not safe to bring a magnet close to the hard drive, mainly because it will actually just break something inside it. Oh yeah, and if you wanted to know what the secret message was, here it is. So thanks for watching, please give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this one.